Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, your original YouTube shop teacher, and this is tips number 861, entitled No Crash Threading to a Shoulder. Now, you have to admit, raise your hand if you have threaded to a shoulder and crashed your lathe, broke your tool, ruined your work, and ruined your day. Let me show you a way of getting around that. Now I did make a video on that years and years ago, one of my very first videos, and I'll flash that name on the screen right now. Most often when we thread with a single point tool we are going from right to left like this. Now there are many ways of doing this. Some with a boring bar where you're threading on the back side of the work, but we'll be threading on the front side, running the machine in reverse. Do not do this if you have a machine where the chuck is held on by a thread. On this machine, I do have a long taper spindle, so the chuck cannot come off. This is the closing 12 inch. You can use many different types of tooling for this, but I'll be using the Aloris BXA-8. You may have seen me use it in other videos, but it is set up now for threading from right to left. And let me show you, and I'll have still pictures from the Aloris catalog on how it is to be used to thread in the opposite direction, that is, away from the chuck, safely and crash-free. I doubt very much if in the 10,000 people watching this video if anyone else has this type of tooling but it is pretty interesting it's expensive but what I'm going to do now is to loosen up the cutting tool this is high speed steel V thread pre ground and I will loosen up with this screw and move it into what looks to be a rather awkward position I'll speed the film up a little bit for that This is a page out of a 30-year-old Aloris catalog, and there's the number 8 in the regular position. And you could read that if you would want to, but this is the way I have set it up. Here's a sample of a thread I'm going to make. I did that in rehearsal. It's a 5 8 11. This is 1 inch aluminum, and I've already prepared the stock here. I put some dye on here so it will show up, I hope and you have to have an undercut here. So the diameter of the undercut is half inch. This, as I said, is 0.625. It's already been faced, and this is about an inch long for demonstration purposes. I've already set the lathe up for threading. I'm not going to show all of that because that has been done in countless videos of mine and other creators. So let's step back to the machine here and uh, thread here real quickly. I'll try to keep it short. This is what the setup looks like from the back side and as you can see the cutting will take place underneath here which will be difficult to see and remember that the lathe is being run with the spindle in reverse. Notice the carriage stop that I have set. Now I'll be threading with the carriage moving in this direction and then as I back up for my second cut, or many cuts actually, I just come until I feel it and hear it hit the carriage stop. I don't even have to look at that. Okay, here we go. That's my scratch cut.
that's it. And notice that the nut will go all the way up against the shoulder, what with the undercut and all. No danger of crashing. No drama. What'd you think? In the comments, I've been getting an awful lot of comments about how dangerously I work. They say you're wearing long sleeves and this and that. Now listen to me. This is a cold shop. It's usually about 60 degrees in here. And many of you are working in unheated shops and garages or poorly heated shops. And we have to wear coats or sleeves. you got to be realistic too. Ideally, no. No jewelry, but you won't ever see me. I don't even own any jewelry, but, you know, so that, that's why I'm wearing long sleeves in the winter. Well, here it is, and it worked perfectly. No crash, as I said, and no drama. Give this a try sometime, or leave me a comment if you liked the video, and please, a thumbs up would help me with my channel. So this is Mr. Peach saying so long for now, and I'll see you next time.